Hey guys, it's Jasmine and I'm back with another video. This video was actually requested by one of my subscribers. I can't remember her name and I apologize. But anyway, she kind of just wanted me to touch bases on cause the setback with my hair. And it was kind of a few things, so I just kind of wanted to touch bases on it. So maybe you guys can learn from my mistakes and not have to repeat what I did. The first thing was, you guys know that my hair was previously dyed quite a few times. And I do know how to take care of my hair when it's dyed. The only thing was that I dyed my hair and then I didn't know that my job was going to require me to dye my hair back another color. It was some new manual rule, some something like that. So my hair was like unsuitable unprofessional some crap um so i ended up having to dye it back one solid color so i had to dye my hair twice in within a month and that was probably like the first big hit my hair took and um i had that's when i actually started noticing the difference in how healthy my hair was so that was the first thing. The next thing was I was experimenting with different moisturizers. I, because you guys all know that I'm a product junkie and I like to try different things. Or if I finally find a product that somebody either on the hair boards or on YouTube have been raving about and I finally see it, I have to get it just to try it because that's just the product junkie in me so that's what I did a few times and I tried quite a few different moisturizers and I realized a lot of them was causing my hair to shed like crazy it was not good <laughs> so I now I know to just stick with what works for me even if somebody else raves about it just I'll let them rave I won't purchase it because as when it comes to moisturizers let's say that because i will be purchasing different hair products um but when it comes to my moisturizer i'm gonna stick with what i know just because i don't like my hair to be dry and having you know went through all the stuff with the hair dye and then trying different moisturizers my hair was just extra dry extra brittle and it was just a mess the next thing would have to be the fact that I wasn't using my protein treatments as much as I should have been. I was mainly just doing moisturizing deep conditions. Um, especially when I was working, I didn't have time to do my full on regimen. I didn't have time to co-wash during the week and alternate weeks between protein treatments and deep conditionings. And I just didn't have enough time to do all that. That was just too much. So that I didn't have the proper protein to moisture balance of my hair which was causing it to be dry also so it was definitely a big mistake and I have recovered from that the last big reason for my setback was the fact that I did a huge stretch which you all know is not by choice I actually went to I think 26 weeks 20 something May, no, maybe not 26, maybe 25 weeks. A long stretch, like 20 something, 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 <laughs> something weeks. And um, it was madness. Like, I just can't control different textures throughout my hair. Either I'm going to have to go natural or I'm going to have to just continue to do my 15 to 16 week stretches like I always do. But going above and beyond 20 weeks was not good. It was just not. It was starting, my new growth was starting to be more matted and then I was working out a lot more so the sweat was starting to just do crazy stuff to my hair and I don't know it was mm, it was just not a good look and so stretching is not for everybody I mean I say if you want to stretch do a little bit by a little bit if you normally relax your hair every eight weeks 
maybe the next time go to nine weeks or if you normally stretch you know stretch your relaxers or text lax to like 12 weeks try going for 13 weeks like gradually increase it don't go from like okay i normally relax slash text lax my hair every eight weeks but this time i'm going to do every six i'm going to stretch to 16 weeks because that will definitely cause major setbacks especially if you're not if you're new to your hair journey and you're not really familiar with stretching or familiar with protective styles that will help your stretching there will be no more long long stretches in between my text lax because i do text lax now and yeah those are really the only reasons why my hair had a setback and i know that now i know how to avoid that I know what works for me and sometimes you have to just go with what works for your hair you can't base it off somebody else's journey or some whatever someone else has success with may not necessarily work for you so you just have to trial and error with everything and this was a trial and it was an error it was an epic fail but we're back on track now and we're working through it and we're gonna see some progress I believe it so yeah that is all that I have for you guys today and if you have any questions comments concerns video ideas um, video requests please 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 leave them below I will respond to you as soon as I can something is currently wrong with my video responses like I get the email saying that people have left video responses but I can't approve them or deny them like it doesn't show up on my inbox so i'm currently in the process of trying to fix that when it's fixed i will let you know if you're not following me on twitter follow me on twitter i will also post a link to my tumblr and to, and to my blog spot to my hair page all that good stuff i will leave down below and i'll talk to you all in the next video bye